623. Well, it's what a lot of women dread. What happens if your mammogram comes back abnormal and what does it mean for you? Well, joining us this morning to talk more about it is Dr. Mark Jansen in with Baptist Health. Good morning Good to morning, you. Good morning, Melinda. How are you? Good to have you. I'm doing well. Thanks for coming Good. back. You're welcome. First of all, a lot of women dread the mammogram in the first place, but then if you get the call that they want to come back and have you in again, you really get worried. Well, you understand how common breast cancer is. It's a, a percentage of one out of eight women in their lifetime might have cancer. And so if you get that call for that moment, you're that one out of eight. Yeah. Uh, my mom is a nine-year or ten-year breast cancer survivor. My wife has a best friend who's in the fight of her life with the disease. So it's, it's common, and that's why women will have that fear. So does an abnormal mammogram mean you have cancer? That's really the reason I'm here because it so often does not mean that you have cancer. If you take a thousand women who have mammography, you'll get 10 percent or 100 of those women will be called back. And of those 100, only four or five will actually have breast cancer. So it's a very small percentage, small but again, percentage. until you get in and find and hear that, you think that you are that four or five. Yes. Yeah, I'm very scared. Uh, what happens basically when you go back? What, what, will well, there be a different test done? Yeah, remember what a mammography is. It's basically a mug shot of your breast. So they mm -hmm. take a picture front on and side to side. And if I was taking a picture of you and you said, well, tell me about my right earlobe, I might have to brush your hair back, turn a little bit. We, co we call that a cone down or a magnification view to understand the abnormality. Mm -hmm. The most common cause is what's called a summation artifact. And that sounds like a technical term, but basically you're taking normal breast tissue and it lines up in such a way that it gives the illusion of a mass. Mm -hmm. And any woman who's ever had a mammography understands you're taking a three-dimensional object yeah. and placing it into two dimensions. Yeah. And so as you take that summation and pull it apart, you can see that you have normal glandular tissue and it's really not a cancer. Very good, and that's what you want to go back and find out. <laughs> and uh, let's talk about the digital mammograms now. How are they different? Right. What's, what's new in mammography is, is the digital mammogram, and uh, you think of this much like you would HDTV. It's oftentimes a superior picture. It uses less radiation. Mm -hmm. It can be stored conveniently. The, the days of carrying large x-rays around and having a large room at the hospital or the clinic to store those is gone. The images can be transmitted easily uh, via the internet, so it makes it easier for other healthcare professionals to observe the image. The radiologist can take and manipulate the image to improve the diagnostic accuracy. It's amazing. And quickly before we go, just the basics on when we should start our mammograms as women. Well, the, the Cancer Society, th there's been controversies, you know, recently regarding when to do mammograms. For a woman of average risk who does not have cancer in her family, still we're looking at about age 40 to start and uh, ideally annually 40 to 50 mm -hmm. uh, and, and after 50 for sure once a year. And no big deal. Go get them. <laughs> not, a, not a big deal. Not had right. one myself, but I, I hear they're not too bad. <laughs> they're not too bad. Doctor, thank you so much uh -huh. for coming in. We appreciate it. And, and, a, and a good idea to, uh, to keep reminding ourselves about that as well. And if you get the call back, go back and, and find out exactly what's going on with your body. 1-888-BAPTIST, of course, is the Baptist Health Health Line for you. Uh, if you have any questions about this or any other medical concerns.